There is a growing list of devices that claim to improve sound quality of music from streaming services such as Tidal and Apple Music when using an Ethernet connection between an Internet modem and a network music streamer. They include audiophile Ethernet cables, network switches optimized for digital audio, and Ethernet noise filters. Costs range from a few hundred to several thousand dollars. The iFi LAN iSilencer falls into this category of devices. It promises no more distorted audio signal. It provides galvanic isolation to reduce digital jitter and overall system noise. It claims to remove electrical noise that distorts the audio signal from your network, reduces the noise floor, and reduces interference. It is comprised of a circuit board with surface mounted components. The literature does not say whether the device is active or passive. It can be plugged into a router, a network switch, or a network music streamer. There are no technical specifications like signal to noise ratio or test results to prove any of these claims. iFi Audio products have received good reviews from audio product reviewers, but apart from a few YouTube videos, from enthusiasts, I have not seen any expert reviews of this product. My curiosity got the better of me and I spent $139 to try this device on my audio system. I have a simple network music streaming system. A fiber optic cable from the telephone utility pole makes its way onto a gigabit ethernet hub that provides telephone TV, and internet services to my home. There are four RJ45 connectors at the rear to connect ethernet cables to computers, network switches, smart TVs, and the like. I recently upgraded from a CAT5 to a CAT8 ethernet cable between this gigabit ethernet hub, which I will to refer to as an internet modem, and my Eversolo DMPA6 network streamer. CAT8 cables support higher data transmission rates because of improved protection against electrical noise and electromagnetic and radio frequency interference that might be generated by household appliances or the home's AC electrical system. There was no audible improvement in the sound quality as a result of this $30 upgrade at least to my ears. The Eversolo was connected to a 300B single and a triode tube amplifier equipped with a volume knob using Wireworld RCA interconnect cables. A pair of bi-wired speaker cables was used between the amplifier and Klipsch Heresy loudspeakers. The Eversolo's output volume was set to fixed namely 0 dB. After a few hours of burn-in, I thought I could detect an improvement in the sound with and without the iFi device in my music system. A few days later, a friend and I performed some informal blind A-B listening comparisons with his audio system. I could discern a slight improvement with the device, but he could not. After five weeks, I recorded some audio clips using a digital audio recorder. I could not hear any sonic differences. And in looking at the digital audio files, I could not see any waveform differences either. In this comparison, I plugged the iFi device into the network streamer. At six weeks, I decided to measure and compare the minimum and maximum sound levels of a number of test tracks using a sound level meter app on my smartphone. And played six tracks from one of my Tidal playlists. I ran three sets of tests one without the iFi, two with the iFi connected to the network streamer, 
and 3 with the iFi connected to the internet modem. I've summarized the results into two charts. The first chart shows the maximum and minimum levels measured. The maximum level represents the loudest sound level of music on a track. The minimum level is the level detected between adjacent tracks. The maximum sound level is about the same with or without the iFi device. This would indicate the device is not amplifying the signal, nor is it reducing the sound level of the music. The minimum levels appear to be lower with the iFi connected to the internet modem. In some cases, the minimum level with no iFi is similar to the minimum level when the iFi is connected to the network streamer. To calculate the dynamic range of a music track, I subtracted the minimum level at the beginning of a track from its maximum level. Here are the results. The dynamic range with the iFi connected to the internet modem is 5 to 10 dB greater than without the iFi on 4 out of 5 test tracks. Conclusions From these tests, it appears that the iFi device does reduce the noise floor, thereby increasing the dynamic range of many music tracks. I'm not sure my ears can discern this difference in terms of loudness or detail, but at least it seems to do no harm. This device may or may not improve the sound quality of your system. There are so many variables in play. The quality of the internet modem, the quality of the signal being delivered by the internet modem, the presence of EMF and RF that could find their way onto the music signal between the modem and the network streamer any electrical noise present on your AC supply, the ability of your network streamer to recover the digital audio signal from the streaming service, and so forth. Perform your own test to determine if this device makes a difference to your audio system. My methodology could be flawed. If so, these test results could mislead you into buying something that is indeed snake oil. Ideally, buy from a dealer who will let you return the device for a full refund if it does not work in your music playback system. I hope my experience with this device is useful to you as you strive to improve the sound quality of your audio system. Happy listening!